Hello there guys and gals, welcome back to yet another Goat Simulator 3 guide. And this time we are going for the Daredevil achievement, and that's for jumping off all ramps, of which there are 29 in the game. Now, what I highly advise doing is, and again this is just the way I've played it. So I, uh, with each area, got to the Goat Tower, I'd done all ramps that were available in the area, and then I went for the missable achievements. And the reason I've done that is because you get a Daredevil helmet uh, when you complete, I think, like 20 or 22 ramps. And that gives you a Daredevil helmet, which enables you to fly around so you can get things a lot easier, trinkets, etc. So I ended up doing that straight away. Um, but basically, again, there are 29 uh, ramps to get. Uh, and that's, <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much it. What I'll do is I'll obviously show you exactly where they are on the map. Of course, by putting the waypoint down. Obviously, you've got to make sure to get a car by pressing the Y button to get in. The, the right trigger, of course, to drive. And they're all fairly easy. One, you know, one, once you know where they are, everything's pretty easy. There's nothing that's too complicated. There's no ramps that are too complicated. Oh, some mega lag issues right here, apparently. Um, so, in terms of commentary, I'm probably not going to be talking an awful lot. If anything does pop up, of course, I will uh, pop in. Um, otherwise, all you're going to see every time you jump over a ramp, you're going to get the ramp discovered. You're going to get a couple of gear items as well as you uh, progress. Um, and again, I've, what I've done is I've done this in an order that is on the collectibles menu. So if you do end up missing one for whatever particular reason, you can just have a look um, at this guide. And hopefully that it sort of lines up there with the collectibles menu so you can see which one you're missing if you are. And smash that one out. Um, otherwise, it's literally just a case of having a look at the map. Again, if I do if I do go a bit quick, I do apologize. Feel free to slow the video down some if I am a bit quick. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll be back in a bit. I'm going for a light down and a drink. But one more thing I should mention is, of course, have a look at all the timestamps below. I haven't put them on screen because uh, with the timestamps, uh, it'll obviously tell you which exa exactly which one it is. So this will obviously be Fear Ranch number four, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that'll do. So that's why I haven't popped um, anything on screen because it should tell you in the timestamps below anyway. But again, as long as you're just following the guide uh, and the video, you should have near but a problem. And if I could actually drive properly, well, then we could go ahead and smash open the normal ramp, couldn't we? Drive properly now. I need about 350. Please. 
Ah, goddamn pig, son of a... You just broke it anyway. Uh, that ramp was still discovered, even though Piggy just ruined it. Now, what I didn't show you was I actually threw Piggy off the cliff and turned him into bacon strips.
then, this is the final one. Like I said, there was no point really me doing any commentary. All you had to do was just follow the map, as you said. We, I mean, you know what to do. We've made it to the end. Uh, so anyway, here we are then, right at the 5G tower for the final one. Uh, we're just heading down the right. And turning left. And there's the ramp. So, there we go then. That's the Daredevil achievement and the Wheeler Dealer gear unlocked. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you were enjoying the game so far. I hope the guides are helping, as uh, as this one has as well, hopefully. And I'll see you in the next one. Big Slav.